Good morning and a very warm welcome to Beginning the Day with God on Tuesday the 16th of July. Our opening piece of music this morning is Philip Stockford's Teach Me, O Lord. We come now to our prayers. Lo, fainter now lie spread the shades of night, and upward spread the trembling gleams of morn. Suppliant, we bend before the Lord of light and pray at early dawn that this sweet charity may all our sin forgive and make our miseries to cease. May grant us health, grant us the gift divine of everlasting peace. Father Supreme, this grace on us confer, and thou, O Son, by an eternal birth, with thee, co-equal spirit comforter, whose glory fills the earth. Amen. This morning's Bible reading comes from St Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, beginning at the 31st verse. Jesus said, Simon, Simon, listen. Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail and you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. And he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied three times that you know me. He said to them, when I sent you out without a purse, bag or sandals, did you lack anything? They said, no, not a thing. He said to them, but now the one who has a purse must take it and likewise a bag. And the one who has no sword must sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you, this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was counted among the lawless, and indeed what is written about me is being fulfilled. They said, Lord, look, here are two swords. He replied, it is enough. Thanks be to God. We come now to this morning's reflection, based on the 32nd verse. I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail. Jesus is aware that the disciples are divided and lack unity and cohesion among themselves. He therefore warns them of the temptations that will hit them individually. When you are divided, he warns, evil can strike and try to destroy you. We see this happen later with Peter, when he denies Jesus. However, Jesus doesn't abandon them to this bad news, but assures them of his prayers. Even when he is heading towards the cross, he held his disciples in his heart and his prayers. He didn't want to leave them abandoned. Peter is sincere when he states that he is ready to follow Jesus to his death, but Jesus sees beyond his enthusiasm and passion and recognises Peter's weakness and vulnerability. And this reminds us that we need to open up to the Lord to strengthen us in our desire to follow him. Jesus knew that Peter would fall, but would ultimately succeed. God accepts us when we fall and challenges us to stand up again. The difference between Judas and Peter is that although they both fell, Peter was open to redemption and did not give up on the Lord. Judas lost faith that Jesus would redeem him and fell into the trap of despair. We must hold on to our faith 
even when we fall, to give room for the Lord to rebuild us. Amen. We now join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Circle us, Lord. Keep strife without. Keep peace within. Keep fear without. Keep hope within. Keep pride without. Keep trust within. Keep harm without. Keep good within. May we walk in the hope of your kingdom. Fill us with your light and love. Be with us all through this day, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, help us to use honestly and well this day all the talents which you have given us, that we may gain, because the gain may not be ours, but yours and your kingdoms, through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. <laughs>